Hey, what's going on, you guys? Everybody's good old boy, Matt Bright. Um, so I'm going to talk about something that I've wanted to talk about for a, a while now. Um, and, and, you know, immediately after I heard about it, I, I just felt like I had to make a video. Uh, and usually I don't make videos in the weekdays, but I thought, you know, I'm going to make one. Because, um, you know, I, just, I don't know. I felt like I had to talk about this as soon as possible. Um, so I watched an Is It Real video last night. If You guys probably know who that is. I watched one of his videos, and it was Angry Grandpa Fake Exposed, and, um, you know, you've probably already seen it. If not, I might put the link down below. Um, I also watched Boogie2988s, because I wanted to, you know, really get my research in, hear some other people's opinions before I start running my mouth on the internet. So, for, from what I can see, I think what happened was... Maybe, I don't know if the whole blackmail story is true. I, I sort of, part of me thinks Michael made that, and don't take this the wrong way, but I think Michael may have taken, uh, yeah. I think Michael may have, like, made that up to as a cover-up to the show being fake. Um, but I don't know. From from what they're saying happened, from what I've heard it's happened, is um, somebody blackmailed Michael and, um, that scared angry grandpa, and Michael told the person who they're blackmailing that, um, that it was fake. That's, that's what it appears to be for me. Uh, I've heard a lot of stories. That's just, that's from what I got, from what I've seen. I think that Michael told somebody that uh, angry grandpa was fake, and then angry, and then that person blackmailed them into saying that he was going to tell everybody. Now, honestly, my opinion, my opinion on Angry Grandpa, I, I love Angry Grandpa, I love Michael Bray, I love watching them, I'm a fan of them, uh, and, you know, I'm going to watch whether it's fake or real, I don't really care. Um, to me, and same for McJuggernuggets, I mean, there's a difference, I, I'm, I don't want to get into this, but there's a difference in, in Michael and in Jesse, because, uh, you know, Michael, you know, they're pause. He and, and I'll probably make a video on this, but like Michael actually has like a purpose. Like I actually understand his channel. Jesse, I think, is just fake and scams people. But we'll talk about that a different day. Um, that's not what this video is about. So you know, but um, you know, I, I like them as people. Uh, I've seen the fake videos, but I've also seen real videos. From from what I've seen, I think that they were. I think that they can connect to their fans. And when they meet fans, they're very appreciative of them and very loving to them. So that's one of the reasons why I would, you know, I wouldn't stop watching them. And also, I think Angry Grandpa has made some personal videos on his channel that has has a reason to them. So that that showed me that them as a person, their morals, I can I can like them, and I wouldn't stop watching them because I would want, you know, I wouldn't want them to lose their fans. Um, and, you know, and even more than that, I just, I like watching it. And, you know, that's sort of, honestly, that's paying the bills to them. And I don't want them to lose a job because it's fake, just like everything else. Um, so, what I think's going on is I think 20 years ago, Angry Grandpa was really like that. Because you cannot deny that there's been a change in Angry Grandpa and like his personality from Trailwood Trailer Parks to the house he's in now. He has, he's, his personality as a person has completely changed, and you cannot deny that. It has. Um, and I do believe some of the Trailwood videos were real, um, just by the way it was sketched out and, and how Grandpa was actually acting. I do think that it was real. Um, but I think, you know, he got to Trailwood. Or no, no, he left Trailwood. He went to his new trailer, the trailer he used to live in, and they became fake, and I think they got to the new house, and they became fake. Um, I think what happened was, Michael originally, I mean, the very first Angry Grandpa video ever is real, because Michael used that as a way to show his sister that Grandpa still acts like that. He wasn't using that to publicize it. He was using it to show, um, um, Jennifer, I believe, no, 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 not Jennifer, Kim, Kim. He was trying to, that's not important, but he was trying to show Kim um, that that's how Angry Grandpa still acts. That's what the first video was. So that leads me to believe that uh, Angry Grandpa is real and he used to be like that. But I do think over time Michael said, Dad, we can actually make some money off this. Let's start to script the videos. 
Do I think anything's wrong with that? I mean, let's be honest, everything on the internet's fake. You know, any McJuggernuggets, any dad breaks this, they're, they're all fake. Um, so, do I think it's wrong? No. Um, he doesn't scam people, he doesn't use that to, like, he doesn't take advantage of people in the wrong way. Um, so I don't, I don't think he's doing any harm with it. Um, so, I, yeah, I don't really think that's a big deal. I do think they're scripted, but I think it's okay. Um, that's really all I have to say. I'm not going to stop watching. I do think they're good people. I just think they did what they had to do to get money. And I think that they, um, I think what Michael's really afraid of right now is he's afraid of losing his fame and losing, you know, the money. Because, you know, that's paying all the bills. I mean, he does have a job, but I'm sure that's doing a great impact on paying the bills. So, I think that's what Michael's afraid of right now. But honestly, I don't think people are going to leave. I think a lot of the fans will stay because, like me, they like him as a person. And I think that they're not going to leave because of that. And I think even, even more than that, people are addicted. Even the haters, they still watch it. You know, they're still paying his bills, you know. So, I don't think many people are going to leave. I think, I mean, let's be honest. If you're over the age of probably even eight, you would have to know that those videos are fake. Like, it, it's just obvious those videos are fake. You know? I don't know. I think Michael has sort of dug himself in the hole, and I think the best thing he can do right now is just admit to it being fake. Um, I think he's trying to drag it out into still being real, and I think he's not really doing himself any favors doing that. Uh, I think if he had just admitted it's fake, I think he'd be okay. Um, I don't know. It wouldn't be real because... Or, no, not real. It wouldn't be, like, the same, because, I mean, we all know it's fake, but it just wouldn't be the same watching an Angry Grandpa video. I think that if he admitted that it was fake, he'd have to find another form of content. Excuse me. But, yeah, that's my opinions on that. Do I think it's fake? Yes. Am I going to stop watching? No. Am I going to hate them for it? No. I still think they're good people. I still like their content. Um, that's about it. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys took something from it. Let me know how you feel about Angry Grandpa down below. Um, and yeah, the best thing for Michael right now is he should just admit that it's fake. Um, and I don't think I don't think anybody's going to stop watching. Maybe a small amount, but not. I don't think a lot of people are going to stop watching. You know, you become addicted to these videos. You know, you watch them every day, and people aren't going to stop watching. I think it's okay. So yeah, guys, um... That's about it. And I hope you guys still like Michael. You know, they're, they are good people. Um, but yeah, that's my opinions on that. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll speak with you all again soon. Love to talk about other YouTubers, and I'll see you all some other time.